Hi Rave Kiddos and welcome to Movement Day. Today we have a super fun activity where we are going to walk like animals. Come here Banjo. So I'm going to take you through five different animal walks and we're going to do them together. Sound good? Sound good? Let's do it. Alrighty, so for our first animal, we are going to act like a frog. What do frogs say, you guys? They say ribbit, ribbit. Alrighty, so we are going to bend our knees, put our hands in front of us, and jump. Do you guys want to try it? Let's try it together. All right. One, two, three, jump. Good job. And that is our first animal. So, our second animal that we are going to learn is the flamingo. Do you guys know what a flamingo is? Yeah, it's a pink bird. And it, what does it do with its legs? It stands on one leg. So this is where we're gonna practice our balancing. You can use your arms if you need to help balance. Or if you really wanna get into it, you can make some little wings with your arms. And this is the flamingo. So I'll show you guys from the side. So you're gonna put one leg up and your arms this way. Be a little flamingo. And that is our second animal. For our third animal, we are going to act like a cat. So what do cats do with their backs when they get all afraid? They curve them, right? So we're gonna get on our hands and knees, and then we're going to curve our backs. And that is how we act like a cat. For our fourth animal, we are going to act like an elephant. So what do elephants have right here they have their big trunks right so everyone's going to show me their big trunk and we're going to go stomp 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 right because we're so big big like an elephant so let's see those big trunks and we're going to go stomp 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 and that is how we act like an elephant for our very last animal we are going to act like a snake. So we learned all about snakes the other week. You guys know that snakes are one of my favorite animals. So let's act like a snake. If you're on the carpet, you can really get on the ground and shimmy like a snake. But if you're not, you can just use your arms to go like this. So you have a tiny little snake body and you can slither, slither, slither. And you can make your snake noises. And those are our five animals. Let's do them all one more time. We're gonna start with our frog. All right, so we're gonna bend our knees, get way down low, put our hands in front of us, and we're gonna jump. And let's jump one more time. Jump. Good job. Animal number one. So our next animal was the flamingo. So let's everybody put your leg up, put your wings, and balance like a flamingo. Right, put your leg up and your wings and we're bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Good job, you guys. Our next animal we did was a cat. So you guys remember what cats do? They curve their backs, right? So we're gonna get down on our hands and knees. We're going to curve our knee like a cat. And you can even do little noises. You can go meow. And that is our cat. For our fourth animal, we did our elephant. Remember with our big trunk, big trunk. And you do stomp, 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 stomp. Good job. And our last animal, my favorite animal, we did our snake. So you move your body like a snake. You can walk around, you can stand still, you can get on the ground, whatever you want to do. So those were our five animal movements for today. and. Next week, we're going to do more movements, but we're going to put it to the letters of the alphabet. So that's going to be super fun, and I look forward to seeing you guys then. All right, bye guys!